Welcome to our new video and to our home of the night. We are Julia and Sven with our dog Felix. A few weeks ago we left our safe home in Germany to travel the world in our vintage van Daisy. In last week's vlog we explored the Netherlands and had a very Dutch experience by staying on a houseboat in Amsterdam. As much as we love our tiny home on wheels, we also can't get enough of unique accommodations. That's why we're having a sleepless night in a crane right at the harbor in this week's video. Staying in a crane right at the harbor, and the coolest thing is that we can even use it so we can move the crane. Why did I even style my hair for this? Let's give you a tour of the crane. So we start by calling the elevator. We have this one to do it. And now he's moving, he's coming. And then I got the keys. So this is the entrance gate actually, right? Yeah. And open the door. From here we go in, let's go. <laughs> Doors are quite heavy. Let's get up. Wow! Going up and down takes a while, but it's also quite an experience itself. I mean, I will show you the next elevator in a minute. Yeah, we have two elevators to get into the apartment, to the crane apartment. Super windy! This is the second elevator. It's extremely windy, <laughs> as you might see. And now we have to open this huge door against the wind. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> There's some space for me as well. Come in here. It's like <laughs> this is more like a tube rather than an elevator. If you look up, there's the apartment. We will move by this thick pole. And um, I can show you how there are two levers down there. And I can use my feet to touch it. And then we go up. Super oh, slow, slow again. but steady. <laughs> Almost there. Two hours later. <laughs> Easy as that, we're in the crane. So after five to ten minutes of driving upwards, we're finally in the apartment and we can give you a tour of the interior of the crane. Okay, let's start with the highlight of the room, the huge window. From here we can see the whole ocean. We get two very comfy lounge chairs over here. And you can also watch some people. Or maybe whales, oh, maybe. if you're lucky with maybe the sun. Maybe I should open it. <laughs> yeah, you should open it first. We got a comfy bed right here. Phew! <laughs> and over there is a window to watch the stars. <sighs> Imagine waking up to this view. <sighs> Can't wait for tomorrow morning. From the bed we can watch Netflix on this big screen here. But there's also some rather old school tech I would say. Let me show you. Ta -da! Special selection of DVDs. Like this one for example. We also got some reading lights and over here a huge bowl of fruits which is apparently complimentary. We got a Bluetooth speaker, very nice. And this one is like the terminal of the crane. We can use it to turn on all the lights. We can even use it to call the elevator if it's all the way down. But to be honest, it's pretty old school. It's pretty old school, but it works. It's fine. We already got stuck in there. <laughs> And this thing even has air conditioning, so there are two units over there, so if it gets too cold, we can make it a little more warmer with the air conditioning. Both of us are coffee addicts and luckily we got a coffee machine over here for tomorrow morning. We got a sink, we got a fridge over here, which is completely full. And over here, everything that we will need. Since we don't get a shower in the van, we are even happier that there is one over here. Apparently there are even two, so we can take a shower together. <laughs> and 
We can change the lights. We can even change the disco lighting and this is really good for me because Julia always uses boiling water to shower. <laughs> of course, there's also a toilet. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy? I mean, we even got disco lighting over here. Let's go. And I thought this place doesn't have a mirror. And then I found this little thing. So... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now up to the coolest part of the crane. Let's go all the way up. Oh, <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, you better watch out with your head over there. Once we get up those super steep stairs, we are at the heart of the crane or maybe the brain of the crane because we can use it from here so we can move the crane. So let me quickly demonstrate it to you. It's really easy. There are only two options to move the crane. If you can speak Dutch, you can already see it. Uh, when I push this lever forward, the crane moves to the right. Slowly but steadily, like the elevator. Very nice. <laughs> if we put it in the middle, the crane stops and you can guess the other way around. It's the same thing. So it moves to the left. From our little cabin over here, we can access the rooftop so we can get up a little higher and uh, like we said, it's really windy, but we can, we can't just not show you this. This is the window. <laughs> spend the rest of the day <laughs> mind your head <laughs> so getting up and down here it's not that easy Felix enjoys our stay and we are working like every night <laughs> Over here, I'm on Instagram, Sven edits stuff. And the doors from the toilet and the shower look so cool now with the lightning. I hope you can see it on the camera. This is our view now, by the way. And it's quite shaky in here, right? Yeah, you can hear the wind banging against the crane. But I feel quite safe, I must say. Yeah, I, we already know how that is because we... I used to sleeping in the van when it's windy out. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Watching the sunrise out of a crane. Check. Fresh coffee. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. It's so calm and beautiful outside right now, but the night just wasn't really. It was really stormy, lots of rain going down and the crane was literally shaking because of the wind. I would say we didn't have the best sleep we ever had, but it was, it was okay. I was so scared the whole time, worrying where the emergency exit is. But everything went out fine. We are still alive. We are still alive. Daisy but we still haven't fine. figured out where the emergency exit is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but I guess we have to get on the top of the roof and then we have to climb down a ladder. Which isn't too safe for me during a storm, but better than uh, like through the burning elevators because they are quite slow, as you might know. So if you ever want to stay here, make sure the weather is good. <laughs> I just found a book and this is how the crane looked like before they turned it into a hotel. <laughs> Hard to imagine. We got a little breakfast delivery through our elevator tube. Cheers. All of our things are already packed up again and it's time to leave. We really enjoyed our stay here to the fullest and it will definitely be an experience we will never ever forget. And hi Bobsa! And for the next four days, we will 
actually sleep in the van. Let's hope the weather is better than the last night so there won't be a huge storm going on again because in the van it's not so nice. It's quite shaky, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> Yes, please! You wanna join? Grocery shopping. This is everything we basically need. And then we also need this one. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Success! Food for the next three days in the van. The flower fields are basically everywhere in the Netherlands. It's so beautiful right now. In so many colors. This area where we are is called Tietzand. We want to go for a bike ride. But Sven has to climb on the roof to get the bike down. And we haven't really figured out how to do that. I think that one was a good attempt. <laughs> there we go. It didn't work and I'm still alive. I didn't fall off the roof. This is so nice. We're driving cars on a Mars tonight. We're passing up to the stars tonight. We want to go, go. Our bike trip was fun until the very end pretty much so then i fell down my skateboard touched felix paws in the back and i just fell straight onto the face but my face i think is pretty pretty much okay yeah so there's no a issue few scratches. but i but my hands got a little messy i will show you the mm. uh, paper towel we have to take care of them yeah hi can you see all the birds Having some dinner, I guess. This beautiful spot will be our home for tonight. I am bright like a sound. You were my nova. Good morning. On the round, I look in the way. Good morning. It looks nice, but it's really cold. Ah, Let's go to the beach. Most beautiful place we've ever camped at. This side looks even better. Look at it. Beach. <laughs> We are from Northern Germany, so the North Sea is not far from our home. And this is exactly how you imagine it to look like. I mean, look at the dunes, look at those grass and the sands. It's just beautiful. Today is actually the first time that I'm styling my hair in the van and yeah, it's working perfectly. <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> we got the perfect electrical setup for you. Life is pretty perfect right now. The sun is shining, we found a nice little camping spot that also has a shower. It's a Sunday, so we are day drinking. <laughs> Yeah, but also working. Yesterday and today are two full work days. Felix enjoys it and it's the first time that we are actually using our solar panel, which is so nice. The only problem we got right now is that Felix has diarrhea. No, he always gets it at some point when we travel, but since I knew that, I packed this soup 
it's perfect um, the carrots are cooked very very long so if your dog ever gets diarrhea just make the soup or buy it um, it's yeah it's a game changer I'm still working over here Sven prepares some dinner right now it smells really delicious Felix is having some slumbers outside oh so cute <laughs> and this spot is actually quite empty we are the only ones here but there's one Alter, jetzt ist die runtergegangen in dem Moment now he's back I just wanted to film for you guys and then he jumped down in that moment not so sure if you can see it but we have a spy over there good morning from the van we slept in Daisy again <laughs> and it was actually the first night that wasn't freezing cold uh, I think it was around 8 degrees so pretty warm and it feels so warm feels in really comparison warm. to the other nights it was very <laughs> nice and it should be getting warm today as well 22 degrees yes. wow not Sun very is coming not very Dutch like like the last few weeks <laughs> This is what I call a nice morning. I do my makeup over here and Sven does the dishes. Yeah, I like it clean, you know. <laughs> Breakfast is also ready. We got a huge cup of coffee and some Bircher Müsli. It's an overnight recipe. By the way, to have some space inside of the bus, Felix is laying outside waiting for the day to start. Huh? How's it going? Hmm? We tied him to the to this point where you can tow away the car. So whenever he chases something, he cannot run off. Sven is having a heart attack. I'm just sweating, you know, it's so hard and it's so hot and it's really difficult to steer the bus. Daisy has some issues since yesterday. Oh yeah, she has some issues with the engine. She doesn't drive that well anymore. Yeah, like in, in the beginning of the trip. Okay guys, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you I will never get, get it. it. Okay, second try, okay, come on. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the next video because we are already at the location for that video. As you can see. A windmill! Fanny! Felix! Let's lose! So. See you. See you then. Staying in a windmill is probably the most authentic Dutch experience you can have in the Netherlands. Okay, so follow me inside. After entering, we are right in the living area of the windmill. And we actually don't have a clue what is behind there, so let's find out together. Sheesh. Ooh. <laughs> what?